What's up guys, it's vlog number 241. Right now we are moving Roberto from the castle to Free Domestan. So let's go check in with everyone, see how that's going. Do we have a giant box? We have a giant box. Giant box? Mm. Why don't fit a rooster? <laughs> oh, um. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, Kim asked to use one of the boxes I brought in, but it's fan mail, so yeah. we can't, we're not, like, I'm opening it, like, taking stuff out of it yet. Yeah. What's that box? What box? Next to you. This box is yeah. just full of junk. Unfortunately, the microphone stopped recording audio, but we still have the video footage, so I'll walk you through what happened. We found a box, Ben had it. We emptied it out and brought it over to Chicken City. Chris met up with Kim, who was gonna be doing the actual transfer of Roberto from his jail cell to the box, and they took a minute to check out all the baby chickens. Well, they're not babies anymore. They're not fully grown, but they're pretty big now. Kim brought the box inside and put gloves on so that she didn't get scratched up. Chris tried to lure Roberto over with treats, but that didn't work. Roberto's favorite girls came to say their last goodbyes. And then Chris found this pole. He used it to push Roberto to the edge of the cage so that Kim could grab him and pull him out. He put up a fight, but she eventually got him in the box. They closed it up and carried him out. And at this point, he was ready to go to Free Domestan, or as Kim calls it, the bachelor pad, where all the roosters are at. And then, like magic, the audio started to work again. I've had way worse roosters than that. So, I mean, I'm just grateful he's not a leghorn. Because they're like, um, feisty isn't descriptive enough. But he's about average. So. Alright, Chris is off with Roberto. They're taking him to Free Stand, and I'm going to go inside, check in with everyone else. Why walk when you can just slide? What are those called? Epic grind shoes, I think they're called. Ooh. Oh! You can't really fall. And if you slip, your shoes just get you. Yo. What up, dude? I am working on a bunch of stuff. Got nine new demo songs that I'm about to structure out. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can say about it, but we're making an EP. I would probably call it an extended P at this point, or uh, an LP, or an album. Basically an album, doing a whole lot of songs. We're throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall, gonna see what sticks, but I've been non-existent because I've been busy AF putting these songs together, so. Hopefully I'll have more to share with you guys soon, but right now it's just grinding. Good luck. Thank you. What's going on in the news today? Um, right now I'm reading about how the founder of Snapchat and his wife uh, just paid off the entire, like all of the student debt for the entire graduating class of an art college. Um, it's bold political statements. Huh? Yeah, it's um, so it's Evan Spiegel, the founder of Snapchat, his wife Miranda Kerr, who's like a supermodel, and now she's yeah. a beauty brand. Um, the gift surpasses the previous record of ten million dollars. I can't find the specific number, and it's um, Otis College of the Arts, where he, of art design, and he said that as a high school student, he took classes there and it changed his life and it influenced who he became. I was writing about the baby food shortage earlier today and Nestle is flying baby food in from Switzerland to, to address it. 
Um, let's see. Across the Atlantic Ocean? Yeah. Wow. The big news that I like, I just saw this poll that um, more Americans are interested in the Amber Heard Johnny Depp like defamation trial than they are in the debate surrounding abortion, which is just kind of funny because you see it everywhere. Um, it's an Axios poll, so it's considered relatively credible. I don't think anyone expected it, but Amber Heard and Johnny Depp are like our news makers, it seems like. What's up? Yo, so yesterday's show, we had uh, just one gun, one money gun going, and it was just only by bread. So what I did today was I made another mounted money gun and I just set, got finished setting them up so that I can go from one. So say that was a super chat, then we wait and there's another super chat coming. So it's like this. The next super chat goes to this one. And then the next super chat so now they're just going to be rotating back and forth. And I was actually thinking there's, there is a way I could make it so that uh, if the Super Chat has Brett's name in it, it will use his money gun. And if it has Mary's name, it'll use hers. And, uh, Which the guests, is totally unfair to me. <laughs> the guests aren't going to have money guns because it's they, they shouldn't have to do all that. So mm -hmm. at most... I'm going to mount a second money gun on each of these platforms. Kind of so hope you don't do this, because then you're going to quantify my failure. Mary's going to get all the money. Well, Her worth will be... You'll never have to reload. <laughs> <laughs> Upside, for sure. Well, that could happen yeah. to anyone. It just it's just magical. It's a glitch. Yeah, it's, it, it's was, a it was a mistake. It, it, it was a mistake. It did so, a keyboard smash and it just happened. They're like, just, they're literally using a, we're boomers, we don't know what happened excuse. Like, yeah, like, I can't say. The fact that they know they have that. It's bad. <laughs> it magically got edited, it got magically uploaded to a server, it got magically cut into the original cut of the film, and then it got magically, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then it got magically put uh, into the new cut of things, and that's, and that's what it was. And that's just, we're supposed to just buy that. And so I say, buy physical media. The thing is, Netflix, who seems to be learning their lesson, telling employees to not, you know, if you don't like working on projects that you might have uh, offended sensibilities by, maybe Netflix isn't the right company for you. Their stock is tanking right now, but it's possible that that could rebound if they actually stick true to their beliefs. But you can actually, I don't know if you can buy physical Netflix media from the originals. I know you cannot with well, like, like you mean Netflix original content? Yes, I don't know if you can buy Netflix uh, original media on DVD or Blu-ray. I know that with Disney, obviously you can buy whatever they release there, but Marvel Netflix never went to DVD, so you can't find. You would there have had isn't to, a DVD, you have to burn the copy as soon as it's You might have had to um, be a, a pirate like Johnny Depp and do something that you're not supposed to do if you were going to do that, which you shouldn't do. We do not advocate for that. Uh, Mary's trying nut sushi. This stuff works. This stuff kills you. Do you like it? Without killing your whole okay. I don't know what you thought was wrong with it. Peanuts don't belong in sushi, that's all I'm gonna say. Everyone is scared to eat wasabi. So we're gonna eat some. Is it spicy? No. Mmm. Why do you pick that one? Yeah. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing though. I lose. I'm sorry. Ew! Oh my gosh. I'm crying. <laughs> Brian's handling it like an absolute champ. Oh. I mean, I didn't even try it, so I'm not really in the competition. There's one more there. No, I'm good. <laughs> Chris? What? You want to take that? I don't even know. I Oh my god. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's, that, how's that feel? How's that feel? I mean, this is just bad. No, I think it's great. So if we do the, um, yeah. I forgot the fucking word. Oh, <laughs> ginger. I did. I want to make them. Dead ass. Forgot the, the word. If we do the ginger challenge, I'll do that. Yeah. Wasabi's gross. Go ahead. How much more are you gonna join me? Yeah. I mean, I'll right. try to. I'll keep one for this you. This is for you. 
Yeah, Does it seem about even? Mm -hmm. I got more, but I'll do it. I'll try to. Right? If you bring the eggs. I'm backing out. You bitch. <laughs>